my sunshines, my rainbows and everything in between. I hope that you lot are doing super, super well and that you've had a fabulous week. So what we're going to do today is your person's next moves towards you. What moves are they going to be making towards you? And I've got two decks for you to pick from. So I'm going to show you the decks and as I'm showing you them, I'm just going to give you a bit of an update on things. This is deck number one. And this is deck number two. Both of these are animal decks. I feel really drawn to that today. Maybe because the sun has finally come back out in England after not being out for a long time. Um, deck number one, deck number two. So I was like, right, let's go and have a look at all the animals. Um, this one is called, this was called the Three Trees Tarot. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Three Trees Tarot. Tarot. And this is Tarot of the Tales. Really beautiful decks. So just go to the deck you're drawn to. Um, so what I need to tell you. What do I need to tell you? So if you haven't checked out the podcast, go and check that out. You can find it on all podcast sites and it's called Mystical Moonday Musings. So as I said last week, I will put one video out a week on Mystic Love Tarot and I will put one video out a week with my friend Josie on Mystical Moonday Musings. Mystical, like mystic, but with the all at the end. Moon Day Musings and it comes out every Monday, which is why it's called Moon Day. Um, and it's a podcast, it's a free weekly reading for you all based on the astrology and tarot for that week. So what you can expect. Okay, so it's super fun. It's uh, you'll love it Two Gemini's. We're giving you quite a lot of girly time, really focusing on that divine feminine energy. And you will just love it if you haven't listened to it. So go check it out. Mystical Moonday Musings. And here we go. Deck de one, deck two. Let's go. Number one. So deck number ones if you just tapped in tuned in turn it on i'm literally just talking about the podcast that i'm doing on my sister channel so i've created another channel on youtube um, and it is called mystical moon day musings and you can check it out me and my astrologer friend we are doing tarot and astrology for the week for you guys so let's have a look at you and your person what are their next moves towards you what is your person's next moves going to be towards you so what we're doing in this reading is we're really focusing on a future energy forward focus okay which is what we love now the way the ducks the cards are shuffling for you guys is it's kind of clumpy so you can always tell a lot by the way the cards start to shuffle before you actually begin your reading. And when they start jumping out like two at a time, it says that your persons might be having quite um, block thoughts. So a, a thought here and a thought there. And there's probably like you're probably feeling there's a lack of structure that perhaps so much is happening around you, but not much is going forward. That's what the cards are saying. So four. Let me just get, I feel like I want to get three at the bottom, a different form um, of type of reading. There we go, that told me, didn't it? One, two, three. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Your person's next moves towards you. So, right now, right here, right now, you are probably feeling that your person has took a step back from the situation, that not much is going on, that maybe they're a bit quiet, maybe they've gone a little bit ghost, um, and maybe they're just having a break from the connection between you guys. And that is leaving you lot feeling confused, a little bit lost, unsure on what's going on, unsure on what's going to happen next. What is that energy doing? So you're trying to keep balanced on it, you guys. You're trying to balance your head and your heart. You're probably adding two and two and making a bit of 20 at the moment because you haven't been given any answers. You haven't been given any um, communication expressing what is going on with you guys. So that is where you lot, you currently are. Okay, so four of swords, resting, seven of cups, the confusion, aren't they so cute, aren't they? They're so, so cute. Um, and the two of pentacles keeping balanced on it. Okay, so this is your current energy through at the bottom. Now, what their next moves are. Your person is going to be making moves towards you. Okay, there is a card of movement with the chariot over here. There are moves coming towards you. And these are moves that are based on the long term future between you guys. So the next moves your person is going to be making is they want to have a future with you. And I can show you that with the four of wands over here showing you a celebration. OK, so what they want from the situation is they want the situation to move forward. They want a relationship. They want this to be long term. They want weddings. They want engagements. They want 
everything beautiful and wonderful in the world that is what your person is asking for and if you need a little bit of a magic nudge on this you can just give me a shout um because it does god is saying that we can influence the situation with a little bit of magic and a little bit of manifesting and um, so for a lot of you guys if you want to just drop me a message we can potentially do some druid magic here um we have a resurrection of the connection coming up with you guys as well okay so here is your resurrection your resurrection stone i'm just hearing um i don't know what that was from i want to say it was from like a movie or um king arthur or something like that but like oh no but it's harry potter wasn't it resurrection stone okay um so your connection with your person will resurrect as they make moves towards you telling you that they want a future with you and you know showing you that they want a future with you spirit saying to me really clearly the proof will be in the pudding I had to Google that once because I was like, what does that actually mean? Is it a weird British saying that we've come up with over these years? And it is. It's a really weird British saying. So when it was the, uh, I want to say the Victorian era, um, I can't remember what they were making. The pudding was like a sausage that they used to make at the butchers and things like that. And a lot of the time they would add icky or wicky bitty bits to the sausage or the pudding so when people go around saying the proof is in the pudding it didn't actually mean like a creme brulee it meant the sausage and the how good the butcher was or, or the food that you were eating was based on how how good the pudding was sausage i know learned something new that day um it was something like that anyway but for you guys the proof will be in the pudding so they might give you all this hearsay they might give you a lot of talk it's really important that you listen to their actions as well as their words the other card jumping out the top is the queen of wands she is one of my favorite queens this will be your guys energy you watching so you're going for a bit of a transformation at the moment you're really indulging those creative passions those creative abilities and you are giving birth to new dreams on what it is that you want so you guys are manifesting this rapido, rapido, super fast. You're manifesting it and it is coming into alignment for you, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. And like I said, if you need me, we can have a look at doing that. Um, but you've got this things working out between you guys, things merging and, uh, you know, the situation moving forward. So there will be a shift. And that is the, the moves they're going to make towards you. They're going to create a shift, resurrect the connection and talk to you about a future which is pretty neat, really. That's that's super good. Um, stay in your power, stay strong. Everything's aligning for you. Absolutely love that. I love that. Okay, deck number one. I just butted in with this because I just did deck number two and I pulled some witches runes for them and I felt bad because I didn't pull you guys a rune. So um, this is why the video is a little bit choppy um, and I'm gonna pull your rune now for you and your person's connection. Okay, so we have got the divine feminine energy coming up with you guys, which I absolutely love, okay? Now, as a lot of you know, like I said, I'm pagan, um, I'm druid, I'm a bit of a witch, I'm a, I'm a bit of a mix up of absolutely everything, but the overall title you would give me is pagan. Now, this energy over here is connected to womb. Now, wombs, the womb energy that we work with as divine feminines, um, talks about a place where you can give birth to life okay it's not a place to store fear and pain it's a place to create and give birth to life so this here this rune is talking to you guys about creating the life that you want and we can do that through some womb to womb magic if you wanted to um you can just give me a shout on that but it's really harnessing that creative ability using your sacral chakra um yeah sorry using your solar plexus chakra creating that energy okay um little things you can do well orange um, lots of orange candles everything like that will help create that life for you and if you do need me to do some magic with you to help bring in what it is that you want just give me a shout and that's your room deck number one sorry i missed that off um i love you all love so that's step number one now i am doing single day uh, single day same day return on voice note readings they are 10 pound a question so get them while you can i don't run it every single day but the days that i do run it i tend to put it on instagram and facebook uh, at mr love tarot you can just find me over there um you will see a little tiny teeny tiny biceps on the chin jim teeny tiny <laughs> so you can find me over there mr love tarot um, and I will voice note you the answers to your questions. So just drop me a message. Um, like I said at the start, go check out Moon Day Mus Mystical Moon Day Musings. We changed the name a bit. Mystical Moon Day Musings. If you haven't listened to it, to get your free weekly astrology and tarot readings, and drop me a message for any private readings. Lots of love, deck number one. Super good reading.
Okay, so I'm going to shoot over to deck number two now, my lovely. So let's just tap in, tune in and turn on to your collective energy of deck number two to find out what moves your person is going to make. So just a little bit of an update as we're going on. If you just tapped in, tuned in and turned on. If you haven't checked out the podcast, Mystical Moonday Musings, this is a free weekly reading that me and my friend Josie are doing. Uh, she does the astrology, I do the tarot and we tell you what's going to be on for the week. It's a very divine feminine podcast it's like hanging out with you two of your besties um having a glass of wine having a cup of tea so do go have a listen any questions feedback etc just let me know um and as for as for bookings with me um i have got availability for same day return on readings which are 10 pound per question and they're done over voice note on facebook or instagram i've also got spaces for video readings if you would like if you would like some just give me a shout i'll put all the deets in the description for you i just noticed actually that i have a room on the floor so i'm reading this very differently from deck number one but let me just pick this room up because it is a witch's room and as you guys know i am a full-on pagan with a really weird little thing going on in my head I don't think I should get a fringe back. I used to have a fringe when I was younger and I spent so long growing out. But do you think I'd suit a fringe, guys? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think it makes me look a bit older. I mean, I'm 37 now, but, you know, like to be young and youthful. So the one rune that is staring me in the face over here, this is a witch's rune. I do love my witch's runes. And this is talking about romance and it's talking about love and it's talking about creation. And it's talking about the two of you merging your energies. It's also a Triskel um, or Triskelly. I never know how to phrase it, which is um, a very, very divine energy. OK, so you've got the three counterparts playing with this, the mother, the maiden, the crone. The life, the death, the rebirth. Uh, you have spring and summer and autumn and winter. You have all of the things and the magical energy that aligns with that is number three. OK, so this is talking about this rune here. It's talking about an alignment of romance for you guys. OK, and it's possible that you have gone through that life, death, rebirth with this, your person. OK, so you are in this process of rebirthing the connection. OK, so I want to just throw that out of there. In fact, while I'm at it, let's pull another one. Let's pull another rune, just because I feel like it. I'm sorry, deck number one. If I didn't pull you a rune. OK, so you have the crossroads as well. So you are likely to be coming up to a crossroads with your person. You're trying to work out what path, why di what direction you want to go down. Where is it going to take you? What happens now? OK, and what I want to say with this is as above, so below. OK, so you anything that you are throwing out to the universe is going to be returned in kind to you. So do make sure you're keeping your thoughts positive. Remember, it only takes 17 seconds for a thought to manifest into reality. Um, so it's really important that if you can keep your uh, vibration quite high frequency, the more positive vibrations than the lower ones. And if you do feel that you're dropping into lower frequencies like fear, um, jealousy, loss, abandonment, all that kind of energy, do something to distract yourself. The best thing you can do is probably take a nap if you can and um, I know for me myself being a mother of a toddler I cannot nap very easily at specific times um, but you can do stuff like going for a walk painting your nails just getting out of that heavy energy so what moves is your person going to make next for you now with this car uh with this rune I just got as well the song crossroads now this is from I want to say it was from the 90s it was see you with the crossroads 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 see you with the crossroads another level maybe it was when I was a kid um but this is talking about the two of you kind of meeting in the middle okay so you might have had to go your separate paths and now you're kind of coming back together and this often happens with divine connections how you merge in and out of each other's life so there is a merging coming back for you guys coming back together we've got a two and a two okay so those of you that know that I do numerology as well a two and a two and normally another two on top will talk about a resurrection of a connection communication talking if you're just driving around see a two 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 it's normally an old lover that is going to come back in touch with you a warning that this is going to be happening so your person will be re-entering your life and that's where the crossroads come in so you've got the two of swords and the two of wands okay so they are thinking about this connection they are thinking about you, they are thinking they want to talk to you, but they haven't quite made that movement on it yet. 
Now, what's going to make them make this movement? You've got some of the same cards as deck number one. It does happen sometimes. Maybe some people from deck number one are watching deck number two as well. But we have this sense of confusion happening with your person. Okay, so they are trying to work out what is right for them, how to move the situation forward, what they want from the connection. And there is this kind of mirroring energy. Okay, so you guys are really picking up on one another. We also have what's above, as again, as above, so below, mirroring energy going on with you guys. Um, and this is kind of adding to the confusion between you both as well. So you guys are going to be meeting at the crossroads and those crossroads are going to bring the communication forward for you. All right. It's only, um, Spirit saying to me, it's only in what we lost that we realise what we can gain. That's very kind of strong worded, but that is what they're saying. Um, and those of you who know that I'm Kyle audience, I hear spirit as if me and you are just having a conversation. And that is what um, your loved ones are saying. Now, what they want from the connection, we've got 10 of cups, four of ones. So four of ones, again, we had it in deck number one. It talks about stability, security, marriages, celebrations, babies, engagements, weddings, all those beautiful things. It's a celebration with the Ten of Cups coming towards you as, as well. It's talking about an ending and a new beginning that's based on love and romance. So it looks like where you guys have been at this kind of not much happening, you are going to be meeting at the crossroads and that is going to be bringing the love connection. So the next moves towards you are going to be based on love and wanting to be in a relationship with you. So let me just ask what's going to bring them to your door like that. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so they're going to feel that they've let themselves down with their emotions. They're going to feel like perhaps they've been pushing their emotions to the side and there's only so much we can hide away from things before they come back. So there's emotions coming back as they work out that they want to be with you. So like Spirit said, it's only through loss that you realise what you can gain and your person is going to be gaining the connection with you. We also just got the two of pence as well. So you have had the three twos. The one that you were missing was the, so you had the two, so the one you're missing is the two of cups. OK, so that will talk about romance and love. So you might find that it's, it's making it, the connection is making its way forward. It might take them a little bit longer to express their feelings, um, but they are going to be connecting with you and talking to you. And that is deck number two and runes number two. I feel bad because I didn't pull runes for deck number one. So I'm actually going to pause this recording, go back and throw in a bit of a rune for them. OK, here we go. Okay, guys, so that is it for today's reading. If you need me, um, just drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I do same day return on voice note readings. I also have space for video readings. I do different types of readings, past life, life purpose, psychic. Um, it doesn't just have to be love. We do career readings, whatever it is that you specifically want and some form of magic. And like I said, if you haven't checked out Moon, M Mystical Moonday Musings, go check it out. Love you lots, guys. Speak to you soon. Ciao.